Wakey, wakey, everyone. It's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is only slightly rainy with streaks of lovely sunshine. Hey, everybody, welcome back. We uh, have to go to the distillery, which we have heard pray tell that they're blowing up. We need to get explosives to get into the air raid bunker so that we can get into the base. Uh, they're not too stoked that we're here. We've done something in the past that we say was a joke. They didn't find so funny. A dud bomb. Don't you like to extract the TNT from them? Oh, really? Do I? I guess so. TNT and the machine bits. <laughs> okay. We'll be looking out for those, I guess. I don't imagine we're going to see a ton of them. But yeah, so we we did something in our past. We said as a joke. Oh yeah, see, okay, still Plaggy's here. Shit. I should probably try and take them out. We have a trap as well. I see. Nothing that I can't foil. Poor guy. Oh, he, did, he moved too quick. Oh, I can't take him out. Shit. This guy's patrolling. Oh, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Well, if you can't remember things, maybe you shouldn't be drinking. You're right. Thanks. You're always right. Well, they obviously haven't blown it up yet. I suppose now we just wait until someone comes by with a pack full of plastic. Help! Help! They're trying to kill me! You have to help him. What's he ever done for me? Well, you might be the man with the explosives. <laughs> You're right. You're always right. Let's see I'm what see you've got. I'm seeing is. a theme here. I wonder how much liquor's left around here. Ollie, focus. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. I didn't see that. I don't think he'll be able to chase me through the shrubs. Yeah, we'll, I think we'll lose him pretty easy. This might be bigger banger territory. Thank God you're here. I think they're drawn to the plastic. Wait. I think they're drawn to non plaggies Look. I don't have to help you if you'd rather work it out with the plagueys. It's Baden Powell. We were in the Punjab together. Did you know him? Haven't the foggiest. Are you gonna help me out? Are you gonna help me out here, Stalker? Yeah, I got you, buddy. I might have just hit my my friend. Come on! Jeez. Well, sorry you had to see that. This looks like he didn't make it. Sorry, pal. He's only unconscious. It could be worse. Well, this'll blow a nice hole in the air raid shelter. You're damn oh, right. Oh, now I remember Baden Powell. Real piss <laughs> ass he was. Real nice eye bonum, Ollie. Is that what you do while I'm scrounging all day? Studying Latin? Real nice eye bonum. What's the bloody use of that? What the hell does that mean? Real nice eye bonum? Okay, so I think we want to go 
back around this way, the way we came, right? The other way, we'd have to, like, go around the entire big side of the camp. Oh, what? Where did you come from? Jesus. Let this be a lesson to you then. I'm thirsty. Do I have anything? I have some water. Blood sugar is getting a little low. Could be worse. I thought we saw a bomb, a dud, yeah, here, okay. Back by the shelter, I was gonna say, when we came the first time, before we even knew we had to come to the air raid shelter. Well, that one got away. <laughs> oh no! Shit! Dude, I'm sorry. I'll I'll just we beat you once, uh. unconscious for you. They're here. They're back. Maybe. Uh. Oh shit. Maybe not. It started. It's finally stuck. Ooh. Wow. Oh, you you're full blown too. I can't even heal. Jerry. Germany, you wow, he's Start. tough as hell. It's finally stuck. Oh. They're bombing us again. Wow, he's wrecking me. This is Marengo. all out. What? Did he just throw that back at me? <laughs> no way. Wow, we're dead. I'm about 90% sure we're dead. Hold on. I'm not dead. I'm not dead yet. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. Stop the bleeding. But I can't- I don't- I can't even heal myself. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, this could be interesting. I hope this is enough dynamite. You better cover your ears. Oh, we just- oh. That's crazy. I don't think we've ever died. Sergeant Oliver Starkey received nine demerits and holiday leave for general untidiness and failure to clean up spilled fluids. However, his absence should not adversely affect camp efficiency, claims a fellow soldier, because Starkey has been AWOL so long, most of us have sort of forgotten about him. In related news, the winner of the best riddle contest is Pete Bromhead with the following. What's black and white and red all over? The Camp Gazette mopping up all these entrails. Jesus, savage. So that was like a that was like a boss fight. These military guys aren't messing around. He's throwing bangers at me. Like, what is that? Oh, thank. This is nice. We just started here. <laughs> oh man. Okay. 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 I hope this is enough dynamite. You better cover your ears. Now, what's more fun than that? Lots of things. Now, we'll just go down there and pop up inside the fence. Real subtle. Oh! <laughs> that was close. That was close. Is there anything I can make here that would be awesome? I think I might actually whip up some caltrops. Gadget wise. Make some of these. I could do this in the dark. I think I have. Wait, I saw a blueprint for something. Here we go. Dick the naughty duck. 
The duck I find a bit underwhelming. To be honest. Let's take my canteens here. You know what would be really nice is if we could mark things as either Good. crafting or not here without all those disagreements. on our own. Because there's certain things like I would never want to put those canteens in there because when we find the sinks we want to be filling them. Speaking of. Now maybe... I actually don't know this, but maybe if we leave them in the thing, um, we would be we'd be able to fill it. But I don't think so. We're finding so many of these memory things. It makes sense in the area, but aren't you supposed to be at work? I quit. A soldier's allowed to quit. I guess we'll find out, won't we? I don't think he'll want me back at any rate. Not after the things I told him. The General? This is all his fault. The registry, the train, the way we bent over backwards. Wait. How can I be talking to you? You're dead. I quit because you're dead. My memory's all confused. That's sad. It just sloshes around in my head. Does that make it easier to bear? Oh, that's so sad. Frick. Poor guy. Ah, bond memories. Careful. I don't think they like you very much here. Yeah, I've noticed. Oh, seriously? We saw the guy here who was just patrolling. Whoa. Job, that was close. Yeah, this guy's gotta go. Come on! Come on! I hope I've not made you late for supper. If you find any plague mushrooms inside the camp, please Let's put him down. Oh, I almost took joy. Now, do we want to be going this way or do we want to be going that way? I'm not sure. Oh, this could be good. A yam. Okay, there's a sandwich. Rotten potatoes. We'll take it all. We'll take it all. Even the teacups. Screw these guys. Okay, I'm going to go through the canteen. Food increases maximum stamina for more time. Nice. Attention all personnel. If you find any plague mushrooms inside the camp, please notify Corporal Ramsbottom so they can be eradicated safely. <laughs> We've seen a couple. Oh, remember? We found this with uh, Arthur, I think. The rebels. In Flanders Field, the poppies wilt. They've heard, a They've heard about poor England's guilt. Our friends said it wouldn't do, our captain said it wouldn't do, to fire on his men so true. Their duty bound them to rebel, but now we're all bound straight for hell. The Germans had the guilty men, at first we would not turn on them. Then ready you to meet your god, for none live but the firing squad. The Germans called for volunteers, and so we gave in to our fears, and longing for our homes and wives, we shot the rebels to survive. The Germans said twas for the best, for dealing with this sad unrest, they pinned bronze eagles to their chests. Play on, uh, Flanders Fields, I guess. Oh, shit, balls. Donald! Ah, oh, what? Ollie! <laughs> what possessed you to come here? 
Here. I can smuggle you out of trouble. Just get him a car. Oh, you're the man. I have to take the lads at the bridge their supper. I'm afraid I'm on my way in, not out. But I might take you up on your offer later. I suppose the lads will just have to wait a wee longer for their supper then. Well, this guy's awesome. Okay, so he's our way out, I guess. We have one friend. Oh. Okay. Holy The music makes this way more intense. Okay, that guy's sick. We need this guy to leave. Yikes, come on. Oh, sick. Where the hell's Cheeseman? Probably having a wank in the bushes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> probably He's having probably a wank in the bushes. In the or that. He's not going to let you in. You'll need his key. I can be quite charming when it suits me. <laughs> I bet he's still angry with you. It's been six years. Is he still deaf in one ear? Is he still deaf in one ear? This means it should be easy to sneak up on him then. We have to see if he's having a wank in the bushes. Okay, we got patrols everywhere. You guys better check that out. What? Don't struggle, you'll hurt your neck. Holy, I thought they caught us. Damn. We're Tom Cruising right now. That announcement is good. That's hilarious. I did it. The tanks were fake. The German tanks in the camp. Paper mashy. Don't take that tone with me, Sergeant. I'll call the lads. They must have sent the real ones home after they took the town. Yes, yes. I don't need a bloody ghost of Christmas past. Before the train. Tell him. In 1946, before they took the children. I know when they took the children, Ollie. We could have risen up. We could have saved them. I could have saved my daughter. Really? <laughs> would the good townsfolk of Wellington Wells have followed me into the machine guns? Or would they all have hidden in their basements? But after the war... You can't keep a secret like that, sir. Ollie, the safest secret in the world is a secret no one wants to hear. Why <laughs> didn't you tell me? Oh, Ollie, don't you recall? You used to have such a good memory. You typed all my correspondence. When they requisitioned the newspaper and the glue, they needed Frick. quite a lot. You knew? There's holes. In my memory. Like a church made of cheese and all the congregation is mice. 
We read that. We have in the to notes. know the truth, sir. We have to tell them. The truth has too terrible a cost. Isn't that the decision we all made? Anyway, I'm out here in the Victory Memorial Camp. You don't think I'm the one who decides these things, do you? Who's minding the bloody store, then? The Executive Committee in City Hall. Why don't you drop by for a chat? I'm sure they'd happily listen to the ravings of a mad Scotsman oh, yeah. from the Garden District. Oh, I'm sure district. they would. They'd listen to you, sir. <laughs> they'd tear me apart like starved jackals, and then they'd pop a joy. Or I in the reverse order. Sally Boyle. I don't want to forget. Really? Because we had this exact conversation a year ago. Oh, what? Oh, oh Margaret. I'm sorry. Margaret. Oh, man. Margaret! Well, an apology makes it all better. Doesn't it? I'll ask Miss Bing. You will not. She'll help me. I'm calling the lads. Shit. You better get out of here. How? The cook, obviously. Right, right, <laughs> right. I remember. Not the light. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. I did not mean to hit him in the head. Get me in there, bud! Donald! Ready to go? I might have overstayed my welcome a bit, I hope in. <laughs> Just a bit. Do you remember my meat pounder? That I lent you two years ago? And you lost it smashing some televisions? That's quite an obsession of yours, isn't it? I can't stand Uncle Jack's stupid face. Damn collaborator. Traitor. Now, <laughs> you bought half a bottle of whiskey in recompense, but whiskey's, let's say, two bob. Five. Quiet. You want him to hear you. Two plus half of two makes only three. Seems to me you owe me at least three and a half bottles of whiskey to even up accounts. Open up. I'm off to feed the lads on the bridge. You're not hiding all these Starky in that castle, are ya? <laughs> no! I don't think it fit. <laughs> not unless I cut him apart the joints and boiled him a bit. <laughs> Just move along if you don't mind. Good cover. Good cover. Play to the obvious fact. You know? Highway robbery! I make it a total of eight and a half bottles of whiskey. You or me. Fine, I'll get them for you next week. <laughs> I'm sure we will. I'm so glad we had this wee chat. Crap, all off. Cart's broken down. They don't engineer like they do up in Scotland. I'm going to have to go back for parts. Do not steal the bridge boy's dinner, or I shall be cross with you. I'd never do that to you. I'd do it to the bridge boys, but not to you. Don't make me regret helping you, Ollie. <laughs> not again. And come back next week with my eight and a half bottles. How am I gonna bring you a half bottle? Don't even think about taking anything, Ollie. <laughs> You've got few enough friends as it is. Oh, I knew about the tanks. So tempting. Everybody's got to know. They've got to know. If the general will help, I'll go to Waterloo House and talk to Miss Bing. Ooh. People listen to her. Enter Miss Bing's estate. Okay, hold on. Hold on. First things first, Ollie. Wow. Okay. That went pretty well, all things considered. Let's go ahead and grab this. And we'll go... Sprinting actually isn't bad for Ollie. Kind of offsets some of the struggles. Iron Fist. And pack a wallop. What else do we get here? In which Oliver gets awful news? Yeah, okay. Oh, best beloved. The general's 
or the general was not an easy man to see. He lived in the military camp far from Oliver's home, across the wasteland of the Garden District, which was filled with hungry lunatics called wastrels. Fortunately, Oliver had lived a long time in the Garden District. It was never, or it had never been an easy place to live. It was only easier than seeing that man on every television. That man capitalized with Jack again. Everywhere you looked. As he did in the village of Hanlon. But he knew how to camp out. He trained for it before the war. He knew how to move at night without being seen. And he knew the streets of the Garden District as if they were the streets of his hometown of Aberdeen. But these days, a dark cloud was spread out across the Garden District like a body laid out for a wake. There were more wastrels than ever before, and they were hungrier than ever before, and more desperate. Like wolves in a bad winter, a poisonous fog rose every night from the river and made even empty streets unsafe. The generals... Or the general was burrowed deep in the military camp and surrounded by men who had once been soldiers and pretended they still were and longed to be so again. But when he was face to face with the general, Oliver's troubles had just begun. Sir Robert was not as pleased to see Oliver as Oliver was to see him, nor was he pleased to hear about the fake tanks. Did you know? Oliver asked. Don't be ridiculous, said Sir Robert, who was haughty. Of course I knew. And you typed up all my letters. They needed quite a lot of newspaper, don't you remember? Oliver did not remember, but Oliver knew the general's many quirks, and the general was using a particularly sharp tone of voice that he only used when he was telling the truth. Oliver's heart sank through the floor, which made his head dizzy. For now, O oh best beloved, Oliver did not know what to do. It seems he told a very big lie to all the people of Wellington Wells. Or if he had not, he had neglected to tell a very important truth. And because of deceit, the Germans had murdered you, O oh best beloved. Lies must be untangled. It is e easy to untangle a lie when it is freshly born, but as it ages, it becomes knotted up in the fabric of the world. Then, like the Gordian knot that puzzled the great Alexander, they must be caught. He must, he resolved, tell the people the truth. But who would believe Oliver, who had become a stranger to all his old friends? He looked like a wastrel. For all they would know, he was a wastrel. Oliver needed to find someone else whom the people would believe, a very important someone. Sir Robert, though important, was not the King of Wellington Wells. Ever since the Germans had hanged the mayor a few days after their arrival, the town had been ruled by an executive committee operating in the shadowy corridors of City Hall. Surely they could help people. Or tell the people. They would be even harder to get in. Sorry, they would be even harder to get in to see than the general. But the people who had but the people had to know the truth. And if Oliver did not convince them, how could he ever make it up to you, O oh best beloved? So Oliver set off to see Miss Victoria Bing, who he hoped could introduce him to executive committee in City Hall. If an adventure in is a series of dangers recounted from safety, then if all went well, it might be the greatest adventure of his life. These are really cool. Uh, this, like, sounds like he's writing it. Well, he is writing it to uh, Margaret. And But the, the perspective that he's using, where he's talking about himself in the third person, is really cool. It's like writing a story about himself, where this kind of not legend, but tale of, of Oliver, and, uh, he's being honest, he's being like, you know, he screwed up and whatever, but, yeah, it's really, it's really quite sad. It's really quite sad. Okay, it was a good time being here, everyone. I hope they attack before I get too much older. Okay. So, I think what we'll do is we'll take a break here. It looks like we're going to be jumping, um... We're gonna be- our, we're gonna have to cover some ground here. Which is fine, there's probably a bunch of stuff that we can do on the way. And if I wait in this shelter for a day or two... Then... We'll even be able to check that chest. And we'll probably find other stuff, so... Yea, though I walk through the valley in the shadow of death. Let's have a let's have a nap here. We're tired anyway. Let's go tell tomorrow. Bright and early. Ugh, time to hit the scratcher. There we go. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you uh, very soon, and we'll talk to you then. Bye for now.